Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning. I'm not sure when this vlog is gonna go up, but I, ooh, my dishwasher just went off. I am about to have my lemon water. I'm running my dishwasher. I don't know why I didn't do it last night. And I have to run some errands today, but I've been getting a lot of questions about the two lip balms that I showed in the vlog where Sierra came to visit me um because i haven't really talked too much about them so when i asked sierra to bring this to me from the states it was because it was sold out at sephora canada and online so i think now that it is available on sephora.ca but it was available on sephora.com so sierra brought it over for me i really really like it it's what i have on my lips right now I like it because it doesn't feel plumping. I don't personally mind the feeling of lip plumpers, but if you don't like it, then you might enjoy this. And I feel like it does make your lips look more plump because I find what it does is it like fills in the lines on your lips. So it makes your lips look really, really smooth. It doesn't like sting or anything like that. It's just really moisturizing. And I really like that it makes my lips look really, really smooth. So I like this. It's a good price, I feel. You get a ton, you don't need a lot. And I really would recommend it. Another one that I'm loving is the Lana Lips. Now Lana Lips is made with lanolin and it is derived from a wool bearing animal. So if that grosses you out, not for you. I love it. It's super moisturizing, very intense, very glossy, very pretty. I would recommend this. I like them both. These have been like my saviors as of late for the lips because I don't know if you guys, well, a lot of you guys probably don't know this, but I live in Montreal and Montreal is pretty cold in the winter. Like around New Year's and like the holiday season, we were at like negative, at least negative 17 Celsius every day. Most times it was over like negative 22 Celsius, feels like negative 34 Celsius. So it's really freaking cold and it's actually the coldest it's been in 146 years in Montreal. It's like negative one and everyone's so excited because we can like walk outside and not like feel like we're we're dying another thing I've been loving and I actually just got this last night um, is humidifiers because and I need to get rid of like all this wire shit whatever before Christmas Mike was always like saying that the air was really dry and we'd wake up and like my throat would be dry it'd be hard for me to breathe and so Mike got me a humidifier and it's just this little Vicks one I'll show it to you later we got it at Walmart and honestly it makes the biggest difference I feel like in my skin in the way I wake up in the morning and so I would always bring it from my room into the living area um, like kitchen area <laughs> during the day and then bring it back to my room at night so I went to Walmart and got this one yesterday um, it's really big and honestly if you live in some if you live somewhere where it's like very dry very very cold you need a humidifier I had this negative idea about humidifiers because for some reason I thought I didn't like them I love it I like I will never be without my humidifier another thing I just wanted to talk quickly about is this Louis Vuitton six ring key holder now I personally I purchased this last year because everyone who had it was like, it's so great, I love it, especially Minx for All. Minnie was always like, this is like my number one product, and so I thought, oh my god, if this lady has so much Louis Vuitton, this is her number one product, I need it. So I purchased it and I got it monogrammed, which you really shouldn't do unless you know you're gonna love it. It did not work for me, and I'll tell you why it didn't work for me. I ended up, yesterday one of my viewers, who I'm pretty familiar with, she just messaged me and said, hey, do you know anyone selling their six ring key holder? And I was like, no, like, but I'd be willing to sell mine for like a good price because it's monogrammed with an A and then also, I don't know where one of these little things are. She was willing to buy it and I was willing to let it go at a good price. The reason why I don't think it works for me is because I use my actual keys a lot. This lighting is so weird. Anyways, I use my actual keys a lot. My car has an actual key. I have a lot of keys, like for my apartment, for the front of my apartment, for my family's uh, like condo. So I have a lot of keys. Um, I also don't have an automatic garage door opener or like a little key fob that I don't need to like bring it out for. So I think this would be a great product um, for people who have an automatic car starter, starter or like a push to start where you don't need to put your key in the ignition. I think it's great for people who, you know, when I lived at my old house, I didn't have any keys except for my car key because I had a garage door opener. So if you're the type of person who has a garage door opener or who has, you know, one of those like electronic key fobs where you don't need to like actually take your keys out all the time, if you have an automatic like push to start car, I think it's a great thing because you don't need it. You don't need access to your keys all the time. But with me, I was constantly opening it, closing it, having keys out 
trying to find the keys just wasn't working for me. If you're someone who, like I said, has a garage door opener or who doesn't really use keys and just needs to keep them in their purse or who has an automatic like push to start car, I think it'd be great for you. But for people like me who are constantly in their car, out of their car, in the store, out the store, like going into the mailbox, it just didn't work for me. But it could, I could see why it would work for a lot of people, just didn't work for me, so I'm happy it's going to a good home. So I need to ship this out today too. I just got a package from Sephora in the mail. I went a little crazy, but I'm excited to show you what I got because it's a lot of things that are new or that I've been wanting to try out. So the thing that started this entire order was Drunk Elephant's new Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. It's supposed to help strengthen, restore, there's collagen in it, you can apply it morning and night. So as soon as I heard collagen, I was like all about it. I also liked that it really helps with skin texture and firmness and skin tone because my skin isn't actually like a really good place right now, but I just want to help get it all even and on the same tone. So I'm really excited to try this out today. I actually never tried any of Drunk Elephant's like creams. I've never tried the Lala Retro, but this is their new cream. It came out like Friday or something and I ordered it right away because I was super interested in trying it out. The next thing I got was this little set by Fenty Beauty. I've heard so many people rave about this gloss. It's like their number one gloss, whatever, the one that's supposed to look so good on everyone. But I saw that they had this little set and I was like, might as well get this set because I'm never going to use up the entire gloss. So I ordered this and it comes with the kilowatt highlighter and then the gloss bomb, the universal lip luminizer. So God knows I needed another highlighter, but I've actually been pretty curious and I'm not too I haven't ventured too much into Fenty Beauty. Um, I tried the stick, wasn't a fan, so I'm really excited to try these because these are like some of the best sellers. The next thing I got were Alex Garza inspired. I saw she did a video with, I saw Alex did a video with this. It's the Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. And I thought it sounded really cool. I also saw Kelly in the Kitsch use it. And I just thought it sounded like a really cool product. So I ordered it and I am excited to try it out. I know I'm probably late to the game, but this highlighter looks beautiful. It's, I think it's called Hustla Baby. And this is what the highlighter and the gloss look like swatched. And this is what the gloss and highlight look like swatched. Looks really nice. First Day Beauty sent me a ton of their products. And if you watched my video, I don't know if I vlogged. I vlogged, I don't know if I posted it, but I got this little set of um, masks by First Aid Beauty and I talked about them in a video. I don't think a lot of people watched that video, even though I was really happy with how it came out and I really liked the tips and everything. So they sent me a ton of product. Um, I have tried this mask before, like before they sent me the full size. I love this. This is one of my all time favorite masks. And then I tried this today. It's their facial radiance um, pads. I just used it for the first time today. I really like them because they were very wet. So I wanted to film a get ready with me today. Um, and I also wanted to film a drugstore favorites video, but the lighting is just like really not going to work with me today. So I'm not even going to try and do that. Another product that First Aid Beauty sent me that I've been really enjoying is their Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. And this replenishes, smooths, and softens skin. So I've been using this and then I put the uh, Vitamin C Serum on top. I talked a little bit about trying the Sunday Riley uh, Vitamin C Serum. And honestly, I prefer the Drunk Elephant. I think it's, I just don't love the texture of the Sunday Riley. It's a cream, um, and I didn't really notice the difference. In fact, I think that the CEO really makes me break out for some reason. I will say that I do, I really have been loving the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This is their nighttime like treatment, or you could use it during the day. It's a lactic acid treatment. I'm gonna put on some Lana Lips. I really love the Lana Lips. A little goes a long way. I know I use a lot of like more expensive products, but I use a lot of drugs, uh, drugstore things, and I have a lot of drugstore favorites. Do I use them every Every single day no but I do have a lot of favorites I was looking back at some videos from like in the spring and my skin looked really really good like the foundation looked really good and I was wearing this wet and wild foundation and I remember I used to like really really love it and I got into different things so I'm gonna be doing a um, drugstore favorites like all my favorite drugstore products some people turn their nose up or think they're too good for a drugstore that they're not as good and I totally do not agree with that I think that drugstore products have come such a long 
wrong way. I think it's stupid of people to be like, no, they're not that good because they are really good. So stay tuned for that video where I will be sharing with you all my drugstore favorites and stuff that I think you guys all need. Because for me, like, I don't care what the brand is. If it's Chanel but it's shit, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna say it's good. If it's L'Oreal and it's amazing, I'm gonna say it's amazing. For me, it doesn't matter what the product is. So this is the Drunk I Love, ooh, that's interesting. I understand why they do it and I think it's actually, actually really, really smart because I just, I don't like things in pots. Um, I don't love, uh, everything that I have that's in a pot is something that stays at home and I use like in the morning or at night after a shower where my hands are clean because I think it's like really unsanitary to put your fingers multiple times a day into a pot. So I understand why they do this because it's in a pot but you push it and you get the perfect amount and it comes out, you don't have to dig your fingers in. So I think this packaging is actually really, really smart. Feels like really refreshing too. This isn't like a full get ready with me because I wanna film one soon. I guess I could try this. I'm kinda of nervous, but I posted this in my Instagram story and I got a lot of messages being like, it's amazing. Oh, fuck. How do you do this? It's like bubbling. Oh, oh my God, it feels so weird. Oh my God. Okay, that feels really weird. But it got, glides on really smooth. There's not too much of a tint. Okay, so my face actually feels very soft and very smooth. I don't have a lot of issues with pores in general, but I feel like my face just looks really smooth. I have some, these are just like scars that are going away right now. Um, watch my video. I just finished up my makeup. Um, I did mostly drugstore. The only things that I used that were not drugstore were the new lip gloss that I got. Where did I put it? The new Fenty Beauty lip gloss that I got, which I can already tell is gonna be like a favorite of mine. It's the Fenty Glow, like I think it's like their only lip gloss. I don't know, I just put that on top of the drugstore lipstick and lip liner combo that I found that you guys are gonna love. And then my highlight is the Fenty Beauty Kilo uh, Kilowatt Hustler Baby. It's very like smooth looking on the face. I don't know, I just find it looks very like even. Everything else is drugstore. Hey guys, so I am on my way to my P.O. box. I have to pick up some packages. Yesterday it snowed a lot and I spent so much time like going, like brushing everything off of my car because Mike always gets so mad at me. He's like, you never brush off your car, like it's dangerous for you. Like one of these days, like you're just gonna get lit. Ugh. He, he just worries because I don't really, I don't like brushing off my car. Anyways, good thing I was just on this little road and all the snow, oh shoot, oh shoot, oops. People like should not park on both sides of the road. Well, listen, so my mission lately has really been to declutter my life, get rid of things that I'm not using. Cleaning out my second room that we weren't using for the Signe like stock and inventory and like making it the Signe office has really been motivating because, oh my God, because there's been so much, like it's just nice to have clarity. I really need to clean out my closet. I have a walk-in closet and it's just like a mess. So I really need to go through clothes, get rid of things, donate things. So keep an eye on Civ Dallas Style Closet because I'm for sure gonna be listing like the good stuff on there. And then, I mean, some people wonder like, oh, like why don't you just donate the clothes? I donate 90% of the clothes. There's like less than 20 things on Civ Dallas Style Closet. The stuff that, uh, that's on Civ Dallas Style Closet is like the st like brand new Ray-Bans that I bought like on a whim. Like some of my designer things, like I, I'll sell them on Civ Dallas Style Closet. You know, stuff like that. Or like brand new Topshop stuff or just things that are good quality or never worn. But I'm not gonna list like old t-shirts. Like not that they're, they look old, but I'm just not gonna list things that have been washed like a hundred times, you know? I'm gonna donate those. So. I um I really need to do that and get rid of things and I should be listening to the Con Marie audiobook because I did buy the audiobook. Um I really need to like get rid of things and I don't know why like I know everyone says like spring cleaning but for me like right now like in the new year I just want to clean up. I feel like I haven't done like just like a good old fashioned car vlog in a while and I know some people like them and some people hate them but you know what like what I've learned is just that you cannot please everyone. Some people love my cooking videos. They request the cooking videos all the time. They say that it's really motivating. They want cooking videos at the wazoo. 
some people hate the cooking video. Some people have no interest in the cooking videos. And there's people who want to know about what makeup I'm using. And then there's people who don't give a shit. And then, you know, there's some people that love car vlogs and some people who don't like car vlogs. So I've just learned that for me, like, you can't please everyone. And I just need to focus on putting out content that like I'm interested in. A big goal of mine for this new year is to kind of set a schedule for my YouTube videos. I don't know if I wanna do like every Monday, it's Motivation Monday, or every Wednesday, it's What I Eat Wednesday, or stuff like that, or like every Monday is Makeup Monday. But I do wanna kind of give myself like three days a week where I'm for sure gonna have a video up, and then I can post if I want extra videos. But I don't know, I did that in the past. I would do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. I would do those in the past. And you know, when YouTube was the only thing I had going on in my life, it was easier to set, set a schedule, but then like once Coffee and Couture opened, you know, it kind of took, pri not that it, Coffee and Couture took priority over my YouTube channel, but it kind of did. You know, when YouTube was the only thing I had really going on, I was able to really focus on, okay, I need to have film, 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 and have videos up Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I was able to really like prioritize the filming, but then like once I started having like other, um, jobs it was not as easy for me to just focus on videos if that makes sense it's around 3 30 and I just got home from running all my errands and I'm pretty hungry but I don't know I'm just like in a mood where I'm not really craving anything and I wanted something easy so I'm having a Greek yogurt parfait there's about three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt I have um, strawberries blueberries cantaloupe I'm like obsessed with cantaloupe and some of my homemade granola um, if you're wondering where the homemade granola recipe is from check out my day one video and then I'm also toasting up two pieces of Ezekiel bread this is what I'm having as a little bit of a hodgepodge lunch um, I just have some of the tofu cream cheese I actually really like this cream cheese and then well, it's not cream cheese. It is. It's the tofu no butter fat, better than cream cheese, no dairy, gluten, cholesterol. It's really good. Um, probably the best um, cream cheese that I've tried that's vegan. And then some jam. It's kind of like a brunch, but not really around the time of brunch. So this is the current state of my living room. I brought it all out here because it really overwhelms me when it's in my bedroom. So I brought everything out. Um, I got rid of a lot. I'm probably still gonna need to, I got, this is like my giveaway pile. Um, letting go of some things that just look raggedy, like this mermaid off duty shirt. It's been washed so many times. It doesn't look good. Things that I ordered from those like um, Asian sites that just did not turn out. And then, these are all t-shirts, pajamas, I have all my sweaters and crew necks and stuff like that. And then over here I have stuff I want to rewash. Um, I ended up finding like so many lipsticks and nail polish I was looking for all summer. Socks and some underwear. This is like Mike stuff. So I'm just having to, I brought everything out and I'm happy I did. So now I'm just going to organize like the t-shirts like graphic tees, plain tees, then like kind of organize it by category. Okay, so it is nowhere near, well actually my clothes are done, but I still need to deal with all the stuff up here. I'm reading that book and I had like one of my oils spilt, so I just brought that book up there because it's my grandmother's. I have a lot of stuff I need to go through. I need to figure out a place to put my games. I put my perfumes um, on this thing over here. Just some perfumes that I've been wearing a lot. So Kim Kardashian, this uh, amber one. Um, I got it at the brow bar. I don't know the brand name, but I'll try and find it and link it down below. It's really good. I also have the vanilla one and Mike really likes this one, my fresh Moschino. So I'm, I just put these up here to get them out of the way. Um, and I guess I can switch it out and then this is just like a little garbage thing I have some Lysol wipes Then this is like my personal makeup collection This is like stuff that I buy or just like stuff that's not from PR or stuff that I use often So I love my Cosmo cube. This is a drugstore favorite too. I should bring that out. So I remember to Feature it in the video. I need to go through Like look at all this It's an addiction. I tell you also. This is a drugstore favorite I should start using this again. There's a lot of stuff that I have. I thought Mike was behind me. I don't know why. Um, then like 
some of the nuts up. This is not even close to everything. So I need to go through all of this. And over here, I just have some purses. And then I need to get more of these hangers to hang up my sweaters and my crewnecks. I have my acupressure mat that I need to start using. Bags, boxes, picture frames. I just need to get everything sorted over here. Then I have some robes. You guys know I love robes. My Neverfull. Um, some of my sunglasses. Oh, this I want. Ugh, one of mine and Mike's frames. It fell because it was up here and it broke. So we just need to get new glass. Anyways, um, for those of you who may not have known, Michelle, Tony, and I launched our cell phone case line, and this is a sample of one that we did not go with. We ordered so many samples from manufacturers, and when I say samples, I mean just like samples of our designs printed on the actual case um this one we did not go with for various reasons first of all um if you look at ours and i'll show you one after you know what, let me get it now oh this is also not even a final product anyways um the only thing different about this one is that our logo is in gold foil anyways this was one of our first samples that we ordered we went through so many different samples from different manufacturers until we found the one that we were looking for these are such high quality cases so the reason why we didn't go with this one is number one super cheap feeling no protection at all it's very very thin um as you can see it cracked it like broke off it's all hard plastic um the printing you can feel it on top where it starts where it ends it's just not good quality printing at all we also received samples of ones that were like completely bendy and like silicone-y but those also felt really cheap and we weren't into it this is actually the case that we went with finally except our actual logo is a little bit different and it's gold foil the reason why we went with these as opposed to any other one, even though we, they were a little bit more expensive, we yes, we could have come out with cheaper ones, would have cost us way less, but they wouldn't have been good quality and we didn't want to put up anything. We didn't want to put out something that was like subpar. So the reason why we ended up going with this, mo this uh, model of case is because it's like a hybrid case. So it's hard plastic on the back, but then it comes with a bumper and the bumper is really, really great because it protects the front and so even if you drop it it's shock absorbent michelle has dropped it so many times on live like from six feet high onto marble floor and it doesn't crack it's because of the shock absorbent bumper the beveled design of the camera hole also protects the lens that's one of the reasons why we went with this uh manufacturer another reason is because of their unique printing process so if you run your finger over it you won't be able to feel the design or the printing whereas on these you will feel like little what do you like little ledges of where the printing begins and where it ends you will not feel that on this because they're superimposed into the polycarbonate plastic this is like super high quality it's super super protective and we are so proud of it we went through so many different cases you guys don't even know until we found the perfect one so just to give you an idea of what the lemon looks like now you can see the front bumper the gold foil logo the superimposed printing as opposed to this one. The color is better on this one. It's just like this feels cheap and flimsy. This is like amazing. And we are also just so in love with our packaging. We love it so much. I go through different like phases where I'm like, the flamingo is my favorite. No, the lemon's my favorite. The peach is my favorite. We just love them all.